What's up, Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Thursday? I know people go to prison and not everybody's got somebody who can help them out. So this is a video on five low risk hustles that could just help your time go by, help you do a little bit easier time. Stay tuned for a great video, the new Matt Clark. Good. Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Thursday? I'm doing great. My girl's great. My family's great. Work is great. And I hope each and every one of you are great. Uh, honestly, I want to say thank you to each one of my 1,405 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. The movement is real. The movement is growing. So please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message. Plus there's a PayPal option if you would like to donate and help support the channel. So thank you for watching. I know that normally we're talking about prison stories, addiction stories. This is gonna be prison related, but let's, let's leave the negative and just go into something that may be a little bit helpful. So there's a lot of people that are going to prison that are maybe in prison, have family members that are in prison and don't have anybody. Or even if you do, maybe those people don't have money. Maybe your kids, maybe your baby moms or your wife has your kids and that's where all the money goes and you just don't have anything. You don't have money for a TV, you don't have clothes, nothing. So this is a video where I came up with the idea to give you guys five hustles that are legal so you can't get street charged for them and fairly low risk in terms of trouble and confrontation. So the number five best low risk hustle is working in the kitchen. If you work in the kitchen, you can get vegetables, green peppers, mushrooms, onions. Sometimes you can get your hands on uncooked meat. You get extras, 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 and all of that is in jail. It is scratch in prison, sorry. You have your hands on the pulse of the food. In most prisons, you can't cook your own food. So it's not possible most of the time to get your hands on fresh vegetables, uncooked meat, all that stuff, right? So if somebody on your block is living it up, doing well, and feels like they need a link in the kitchen, that can be you. I did it. I had a dude that took care of me my whole bit, gave me chronic, gave me cigarettes. All I did was bring him green peppers, onions, mushrooms. You know, he helped me out with phone calls. He helped me out, you know, anything I needed, you know, S simple, simple thing. And working in the kitchen, you also get paid. You can eat as much as you want. If you're in the gym, it's a good hustle. I'm telling you, working in the kitchen is something that I did when I was in Joyceville. Easy peasy pumpkin seasy, no hard work really. You just sit around and drink coffee for the most for the most part, because all the food now is all pre-bagged, pre-made slop crap that you just pour into a big cauldron and they heat it up. So the number five best low risk hustle in the penitentiary working in the kitchen. And there's lots of things you can do, but not much better than the kitchen. The number four best idea for a legal low risk hustle. You ever done, you ever draw any of you guys artists? You have any artistic capabilities. You could draw portraits for people. You could make cards. You could draw tattoos for people. You could, uh, and I'm not talking about doing the tattoos. I'm saying drawing the art. You could do all kinds of things if you make uh, you know, lots of prisons have, have like a wood shop and you could make little jewelry boxes and dressers and stuff and you could actually sell them through the jail to anybody. You know what I mean? So if you're an artist, there's a, there's a real hustle value inside where you could do some easy time. I'm telling you, just doing something like drawing portraits will, can get you paid really well inside. There's people that really take to that stuff. You know, they like to be able to send stuff to their woman or their families. That's meaningful. So, you know, I would say the number four 
best low risk, non illegal hustle, anything arts related. So drawing, uh, woodwork, any of that stuff, leather work, moccasins, any of that stuff that people can make on the inside and sell for a little bit of profit. That's a nice little hustle to help you do your time a little easier. So coming in at number three, homework. Surprisingly enough, you can get paid real money for homework. I was getting like 40, $50 canteen for an English course that I could bang out in like two nights, three nights tops. Now in the Canadian federal penitentiary system, you have to get your grade 10. It is mandatory. There's a lot of people that are either lazy or just outright dumb. And then there's a lot of people that it's not that they're dumb. They just, they just don't have the knowledge because they weren't taught. So there's a lot of people that don't want to do the schooling. So you can, if you're in the school and you talk to people and you get to know people, you'll realize that there's a lot of people that will pay for this. And I'm telling you, it's a low risk. You can't get in trouble for it. Like how, how can you get in trouble for it? Uh, you know, unless you fail the course and the guy paid you for it already, there's no risk, no risk of confrontation as long as it's on the up and up and you're not just being punked into doing the work. Hey man, the number three best legitimate and low risk hustle doing homework. I'm telling you, it's easy, man. Most of that work is like basic, basic, basic. And people, if they just looked at it and saw what it was, they'd realize how easy it is and how quickly they could just bang it out. But it's not what happens. And there's, so you gotta do a bunch of courses. So I'm telling you, man, you can help guys. And there's guys that also wanna get their diploma, but don't wanna do the work. So the number three, like I said, homework. The number two. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say this is low risk. It's not illegal though, okay? Tattooing. Now, tattooing can be low risk and can be high risk. That depends on one thing. How good you are at being a tattoo artist. Because there's a lot of people inside who tattoo, who are actual artists, who draw, who tattoo on the outside. But there's also a lot of guys that decide, hey, I'm in prison and I need a hustle, so I'm gonna start tattooing even though I can't even draw. And those guys are at risk. And I've seen them get punched out. It's happened lots of times. There's guys down below that have the weirdest tattoos that you don't even know what they are. And it's because of some dude who told them that they knew how to tattoo. Now, how many guys down below are professional level tattoo artists? There's a few, but not very many. Prison tattoos have their own style. So you, you don't really expect them to be perfect, right? But... I'm telling you, man, there's some things that are horrible. And there's some people who will take it very, very, very personally, including myself. If you were to ink something on me and jack it up really bad where it can't be fixed. And, uh, you know, that's just a risk that you got to take and you got to really weigh the pros and cons of your talent. Are you a true tattoo artist? Have you ever used a prison tattoo gun? You should practice on yourself first. Make sure you're good at it. The shading is different. Everything is different. But still, the number two best low risk kind of non-illegal hustle, tattooing. So before we get into the number one best low risk hustle, I just want to say this is for information purposes only. I'm not in any way glamorizing. All I'm saying is if you're inside and you're gonna be hustling and putting your life in danger trying to get involved in the subculture, at least try to go this route, keep yourself out of danger, out of confrontation, and out of trouble. So the number one best low risk hustle, and the reason why I put this one number one is because of how much work they get. Now, I'd say for this person, the only real risk is that people get mad that it takes so long for them to get their stuff fixed. This is the handyman electrician dude who can fix everything. Every prison has a couple of them 
And I'm telling you, these guys are always working. Guys that can fix headphones, fix PlayStation, fix 64s, can fix any guys that can fix anything. Those guys are in demand and always, 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 always have work. They can pretty much charge anything because if somebody's headphones are jacked, okay, he's got, say, Beats by Dre or he's got some $150, $200 headphones that are going to be garbage if he can't fix them. And it's impossible for him to get another pair of scenting because he's got nobody on the street. But you'll fix that for 30 bucks. Why wouldn't he pay you that? You know what I mean? I'm telling you, the number one most in-demand, legitimate, low-risk, non-illegal hustle is the handyman electrician dude. And every prison has at least one, but most have multiple. Now, before you can do any of these things, you have to be an established convict in a penitentiary. Before you can put yourself into any contract with somebody, because down below it's different. It's not like in the streets where you breach the contract and that's it, you get taken to a small claims court or whatever. This small claims court is the washroom and it's some big dude who's about to smash your teeth in or worse. So think about any hustle before you get involved. And there's always going to be people that will try to extort you or try to take advantage of you if you're not somebody who's a well-known dude and who's known to stand up for himself. So think, always weigh the pros and the cons before making any decision in the penitentiary because it could be a dangerous one and it could even be your last if it's a really bad one. Anyways, if you like this video, please hit that like button and that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you get these videos when they're brand new also, if you could share with somebody on social media, and there's a PayPal option if you'd like to help donate and support the channel. I got a root canal on Saturday. God dang it. I know I told you guys about it. The good thing is I'm getting a lot of coverage. I'm a little nervous about it, but either way, so I don't know if I'm going to do a video on Saturday or on Sunday, but I'll be doing another video. I, I plan on getting back to my old routine of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then a live stream on the weekend. The holidays kind of jacked that up. But anyways, we'll figure that out. Thank you for watching my video. Love each and every one of you at the new Matt Clark.